So uh, I don't know why, but I thought it might be a good idea to start a YouTube channel about this piece of shit. And uh, you know how I put it together and the antics of drifting and stuff like that. So to start off with, I put the car together about six months ago. Um, I paid $200 for the shell. Uh, it's got a non-turbo RB30 in it. I paid 400 bucks for the motor and gearbox. Um, the idea of this car was meant to be that it's just a beater, um, get me back on track while I take my time with, you know, more long-term projects like the 180 Ute. Also a case of, um, as you can see, the rear wide body guards on this thing are moulded in. I didn't really want to take it out to my first track day and explode that because there would have been a shitload of bodywork. Uh, and as you can see over here, it's lucky I did because that's exactly what I did. First track day out, put it into the wall, exploded the rear guards. But yeah, anyway, moving on. Um, yeah, so this thing's got S15 uh, Massa front conversion on it. Um, S15 lights, front Rio and stuff like that. It's uh, five stud front and rear, running R33 GTST calipers motors. As you can see, there's two sets of calipers on the rear. It's running a hopper stoppers dual caliper kit. See the plate in there. Um, it's also running an R33 rear subframe with um, a full Sideworks catalog, pretty much. Um, Sideworks high cast delete kit, solid offset bushes, sol uh, caster arms and stuff like that. Um, traction arms, camber arms, Sideworks coilovers, the front. Uh, give me a sec. steering wheel Fronts S13 Slideworks front caster Slideworks knuckles yet again Slideworks coilovers um, it's all sitting on an R33 K-frame that's had the rack move forward so it doesn't bind on lock. The only thing I really need to do is extend the LCAs a little bit more, the R33 LCAs, and get new tie rods. So suspension-wise, this thing's over the top for a non-turbo RB30. Oh, that's just the way I do things. You know, it looks flashy from the outside, and then you pop the engine bay and go, ugh. Poor life choices were made here. But anyway. Um, moving into the car. I've got two Sparco Sprint L's. Valo harnesses. Just a basic um, half cage. Bolt in half cage for now. Until I get a chance to uh, get a proper one made up. Uh, S15 dash. To take it as because my dog ate it, so I decided just to peel the frame off it and throw a bit of paint on it. Defi uh, ZD meter, just a eBay special, um, just to keep an eye on oil temps, water temps. Um, got a um, the the hydro set up, still with the stock handbrake because it's got the R33 rear subframe. It's still got the R33 drum brakes in, but. I just felt they weren't adequate enough for uh, locking it up on track, so I decided to go for the more reliable option of putting a hydro in. Um, but yeah, that's about it. As I said, I spent 200 bucks in the shell. Built it from spare parts that I either had laying around or I've pilfered off the 180. 
Uh, I did pay money for the body kit and the paint, but what's the point of, you know, having a track car that doesn't look flashy? Yeah, full uh, front bar, side skirts, rear bar, and the rear guards are all origin. Pretty sure it's a, uh, from memory, it's a stylish line kit. Um, and yeah, the only thing left to go, as you can see, is the severe lack of wheels. So, uh, hopefully before my next event in two weeks' time, Labor Day weekend, I'll be able to buy some wheels. And hopefully at that time I might even throw up another video. Get the GoPros out and get some footage. And show you what 50 kilowatts of Fury can do.